Well, folks, welcome back to the episode of the Guggen Squad. Today, doing a little bit of vlogging action. And, uh, well, I'm with a very important special guest. That man, look at it. Oh, turn around, turn around. Can y'all tell who it is? Look at it. Look at it dangle. Look at it. We got Mullet Man. Welcome back to another movie. Good, 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 good. <laughs> we are ready to rock and roll here. We're actually going into Academy Sports and Outdoors because we're going to be doing a little bit of crawfish trapping. We actually have a homemade crawfish trap that I'm pretty sure Lunkers TV made. Um, but we're going to try to find a store bought one and then do a little challenge. We also might do some cast netting because we need to catch some bait for Gary. Gary's been hungry lately. We need to catch some more bait for him. So, with that being said, let's get started. Well, well, well. Academy has the goods here. Where's the trapping stuff? That's the good stuff though, in case you're wondering. Oh, here we go. What do we got? What That's is that? It's a one holer. That's a one holer? Is that a is that a good thing? This is all they have. Really? What kind of trap is this? Same thing. Okay. One holer. And then this is like a little minnow trap. Yeah, that's, that's, that's missing the other, the other half. This is all they got. Classic. Nice. Oh, what is that? What, what do them do? Minnow trap. minnow trap. Wait, what kind of minnow trap is that? You just put it in the water and they oh, swim. We can make that with a two liter bottle. They sell that? Yeah, make it Bruh. millions. Bruh. I'm confused. I can't believe they actually sell that. So Honestly, that's this? good because that looks almost the same as the homemade one. So it'll be a really good comparison. It's set up the exact same way. I mean, this is technically a minnow trap. Yeah. I feel like we, we'll just catch a bunch of stuff. We need to get a little bit of rope, though, so we can have uh, yeah. something to pull sure. it back with. But that'll be, that'll be so, good. We want this? You want this? Yeah, Two bucks? Yep. Okay, we'll get that. That's rope, utility line. Is that enough? We need that. And we, we have rope need... for the other trap? Nope. Now we do. Those seckies? So we've got the rope, we got the trap. Now we need the food. I'm thinking, I mean, as tasty as putting a Kraken craw in there. What if you think that would work if you put Kraken craws in there with the crawfish? Think there's the more? There's already craws in there? What do you think? Do you think, you think these uh, crawfish are big, big fans of the, the Hobbingero or no? Really? You think, you think they're watching the figure on that turkey jerky? Dude, Ryan? I think jerky will work. I think it will. What are you feeling? I don't know. I feel like it's just going to float to the top and then they're going to go sit at the top of the cage and eat it from the top. Is that a thing? I don't know. We did it once, didn't we? No? I think this will work though. I really do think this will work. Oh, that's probably way cheaper. Yeah, this is some bougie. Yeah, we're not about that life. These are some thick pieces. Here we go. Oh, that's what that's I want. A good I want some Thick, thick with two C's pieces. We got everything. I, th I think. We have cast nets in the truck too. We're also be. Oh, I already mentioned that. Yeah, we're gonna be catching fish for Gary. So, should be an interesting video. We're gonna go to a tiny little creek and see what we can make happen. You guys, stay tuned. There we go, folks. We got both traps. This is a homemade one, courtesy of Lunkers. Pretty sure. This is store bought. We're gonna fill both of them up with jerky, toss them in this little creek, and see which one catches more fish. Dude, we should have bought hot dogs. Oh, hot dogs would have been the deal. Okay. Kind of messed up. We'll see if jerky works. We'll try it. Yeah, so we'll tie this rope on so it don't float away. And we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna set these up, put up some food in, and then we're gonna flip rocks. And we're trying to catch crawfish. The reason I'm trying to catch crawfish is because we have to, we got Gary on this organic diet right now, and uh, he's growing really quick. So we're gonna try, keep going at it, try to catch some crawfish. If we somehow cannot find any crawfish, I did bring some cast nets for some little, like little brim and stuff that are swimming around here. But we're trying to keep Gary on this organic diet, so mission, catch some crawfish. A little Texan jerky right here. Pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Teriyaki. Okay. Oh, we put it in there. Okay. Wow. Put a few of those. Yeah. Ball up some bread. In goes the bread ball. All right. A little feast. It's like Thanksgiving. You're welcome, crawfish. Let's walk these down the creek and see what we can do. So, right, there. right there's down a big the perch, like two big perch. Like yeah. Three. Yeah. Should I just give her a, give her a I'd send? Right there in that deep hole. All right, first trap's going in, boys. All right, I'm gonna go tie this off and we'll get yours in the water. So we've got another thing in right here. Over here, yeah. This is a little deeper, deeper than the other one. Just gonna yeah. toss her right in, get some line out first. Here, catch. Give the toss. Oh, Shoo! Yeah. yeah, that's mine. That is a, just a beast. Yeah. Turkle went ham on that one. 
Sick. Right. Dude, I bet we'll have something before we leave. Well, my old man's out there looking for crawfish with his bare hands. I'm gonna get the old net out, the cast net, and try to catch some of these little bait fish for Gary. Yeah. Nada! I think that was really good. Yep. Really? Yep, you got a few. Oh yeah. Hold on. Oh, I see him, I see him. They're trying to get out, they're trying to All get right. out. Pull it up. Oh yeah, look at him. Oh no, we lost Get him to the side. We lost Baby one. perch. Okay, okay, okay. Is this what you caught the other day? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Woo! Perfect size. Ew! We got him. Get that bait bucket. There's at least four here. Five. So that's six. Yeah, these little, just baby little, whatever they are. Bluegills, crappie, panfish of some kind. Don't say it wrong. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I'm wrong. You'll get in trouble. I mean, they're not crappie. They're baby perch, or we call them perch in call, Texas. We're just, we're just gonna call them a species of a the sunfish deal. fan. Okay, that's it. Oh, dude, leave it in the comments. What? That Boom. Is. Yeah. What do you guys think? What what kind of actual like to the te to the most identification? Is that a word? You guys know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a sunfish of some kind, probably some type of bluegill. But what are they? There's a variation. I'm gonna catch some more. Do we have to find? That was a terrible throw. Taco. It was a taco. That's negative. Yeah, you got him. Hey. Yeah, you do. Oh, I got some. You got like six. Again. Oh. All right. We're good. We got a bunch more. We got another pair. See threes. if you can dump it and they'll just fall out. Yep. yep, there you go. Okay. Got five right there. One little haul. What do you got, five? Yeah. So six. Yep. Seven. How many you got on the first one? Eight. You got eight on the first one? No, this, that's oh. eight. Oh, eight. I think we, we only got six one? on the first one. So we're like, we're sitting good. We're sitting good. And that's probably enough. Right now we're trying to, again, we're trying to keep Gary on this organic diet. Also, we're doing the grand opening tomorrow. And these are gonna be for bait for Gary, for our viewers, our subscribers, the people that attend to potentially feed Gary. So we're gonna get that. Mo Man's actually gonna run up to the truck and get a hook and see if he can catch one on rod and reel. But so far, the cast net is doing the job. A little jerky. Who wouldn't want that? I don't know. See, there's one right there. There's some big ones there. Yeah, so there's definitely bigger ones. This side, this side also has big bluegills, right here. Hey, fish this side. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, look at that! Boom! Gary sized, That's baby. Good. Dude, you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna induct a fish to the, the yes. tank? Is this yes. gonna be Mullet Man's fish? Yes. Let's put it in the Ow. tank. Let's put it in the tank. We got a Mullet Man fish. We're gonna call him the dirty mullet. Cause he's not a mullet. He's a Texas mullet. I need help. Eh. He's going, going in, in there. Boop. Yes there sir. There you go. Well that was easy. See what else you can catch, I'm curious. It's like a little fly. Oh, oh boom! my gosh, dude! Boom! Got him. We Dude. throwing these back? Yeah, you can throw them back. I don't think we need them. We can't put too many fish in the tank right now. It's, we've got plenty, but one well, man's got to introduce a fish, so. Dude, that's crazy. All right, oh. here we go. You got to really fling it. You got to really give it the flick of the wrist, huh? Yeah, flick of the, flick of the wrist. Yep. Yep. Look at him. Ready? Ready? Boom. Ready? He's got Ready? it, dude. No. Yeah, he's oh, got oh, it. He snap. had it. Yeah, that's a big one. He's going for it. Got it. Yeah. Got him. There you oh, go. Oh, that's oh, a pretty fish. Dude. dude. Dude, that's tropical looking. Yeah, that's pretty. Look at that thing. I cast netted one of these the other day. Really? Yeah. Dude, that's one of the prettiest sunfish I've ever seen. It's a long, I think it's a long ear. Long ear? Is what they're called, yeah. They got a long. Their ear right there is really long. Could be wrong, but. I think I might trade out Mullet Man's fish for that one. Well, you want to try to catch another one? I mean, it's a cool. If I can catch one like that, I'm trading my. Fish. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll let you go back to fishing, see if you can catch a cooler one, cause he's cool. Yeah. I like I said, we got one in the tank so far, but I'm Mine pretty sure they're long average. ears. Crazy. All right, we're letting this guy. Go. Oh, 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 oh. He just got sucked. He's going to the other side. Maybe he'll make it in the trap. He's fine. That's my bad. You yeah. have. Yep. 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 I'm trading. Yep. I'm. Trading. Oh, look at him, dude. That's a pretty fish. Oh my gosh. That is the prettiest fish I've ever seen in Texas. 
He's going in there. He's with going Gary. in the tank. He's going in the tank with Mullet Gary. fish right here. Look at the change. Look at the upgrade. Boom. Uh, upgrade. Yes. All right, we're gonna get a release on this guy. All right, we're we're checking the trap. It's only been out about 30 minutes. Surely there's something. In there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my line just went. Oh look at them. Will he eat those? Oh yeah. Those Surely. are big. Yeah. Those are bigger. Here, I'll get the bucket. Oh, okay. Look at that. Short amount of time. Dude, I can't imagine how many are gonna be in there in a day. Like for letting it sit all day long. Yeah. What's up, little boys? Gary will eat those are that's like big, that's like a mega protein, you know? Like yeah. you ever eat like a giant steak? That's that's Gary's steak right there. Three of them. Wagyu. That's Wagyu. Cosmo style. That's right. Alright. Checking the homemade trap. There's like five fish swimming on top of it right now. I guess eating the bread that's coming up. One. Are you kidding me? We're gonna leave in. We're gonna leave him in there uh, to attract the others. Money, money throw. All right, I think it's time to go feed Gary. Well, oh yeah, this is the dude I just caught. Mine's pretty. Yours, yours, is, yours has way more color. Mine's prettier. It, it is. Look at that fish. A new mullet man fish going in. All right, everybody, say hi. What are you naming him? Oh, oh they're they think they're frosty. hungry. They're hungry. Oh, see you, dude. Dude, he's pretty. Gary, dude, don't he even is think like about vibrantly it. Vibrantly blue. Look at him. He is just that hanging out. That would be out. cool. That's a cool like fish. Like tag fish in the back. Yeah, that'd be dope. That's a cool little fish. Heck yeah. I mean, just hanging out. Yo, yeah, you'll be able to tell the difference because mine's got like the, the hump on his head. Yours is way more blue. He just got a. Uh, it looks good. Got tossed into a whole new world. Yeah. So we'll have to we'll do some feedings with them later. But what do you, do you want to feed Gary just a little bit? Sure. Getting fired up. Let's do it. Oh snap! Oh bluegill! Chill, my dude. Or something. All right, fish. Good luck. Wish you the best, boys. High protein diet for Gary and his friend. He's not doing too soft. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, 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 oh! Dude, he's not. He's not hungry. If they do that. They're not hungry. That's all right. These fish. The good thing about fish is they'll survive until they are hungry. Oh, he just oh Gary just ate one! Yep. Oh, snap! Right. Well, Gary ate one, but uh, that'll that'll tie him over for a little bit. They're just, again, they eat when they want to eat. They're casually eating, but it's just, it, it's so much better than goldfish. Goldfish is just not good. You guys were even commenting that, that it was not a very good diet for Gary, so we figured get the most natural thing nearby, and uh, they're pretty much good. I think we just put about a dozen in there, at least, at least a dozen, maybe 15. So we're gonna let those those fish munch, and then we gotta go check the traps later, see if we catch the crawfish. Whose trap works the best? Store bought versus homemade. You guys stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back. It's been soaking for about what do you think? Seven hours probably. It's, it's the evening. Yeah. It's getting dark. We just we decided we better go check on it tonight because. Uh, we caught bait fish in it. Well, if you leave the bait fish overnight, they might die. We don't want that. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna come check it. Yep. See what we got. Peric joined us. Oh yeah, Peric's here. Hopefully we got some product. Really? Oh, I, need, oh, I need the water dragon for this one. Oh, hold up. Oh, we got a giant sunfish. Giant green sunfish. Jerky still there. All the bread's gone. No karate. No karate's. No. Oh, see you later, dude. Yep. See you, dude. There you go, jerky. Oh, skirt. We don't need any more fish for Gary. He's full. Well, I caught, how many was there? Was there I think four? Like four, or five. four total. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. We're, 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 we're going to see which one won. So four. I'll say four on mine. Let's go check the homemade one. Oh, yeah. I got more. I got. Oh. I got merch. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. I can't even count them. Let's uh, let's do a little count real quick. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Really? Eleven to four. Homemade is always better than store. Homemade took the dub, son. How do you get them out? USA made is always better than China made. How how do you get them out? You're trying to catch a little panfish. 
get yourself a trap. Screw the rod and real game. But if you guys know how to catch crawfish better, let me know. Uh, I haven't really Googled it or anything. Probably should have done that prior to this. But hey, we caught fish regardless. It's a trap. It's homemade versus store-bought trap. It wasn't necessarily about crawfish. Kind of was, kind of wasn't. But now we know the big homemade one beats the small store-bought one. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you want to see next on the Guggen Squad channel. Perk? How's it going? Can you, can you give him like a thanks for watching? Peace? Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Peace. Peace.